Hello, Mission Hill Church. It is uh, Thursday, and this is the time for our midday prayer. Thank you so much for joining. Some of you that are able to are able to just join us even right now. We're just going to spend a good time seeking God's face and praising Him and worshiping Him and uh, taking the time just to honor His name. Uh, just reading uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, chapter 5, verse 6 and, uh, 16 and 18. Uh, the word of God is saying, Rejoice always, pray without season, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Uh, it's uh, now midday. I don't know what you're going through right now, but the Bible is saying to rejoice always and to give God thanks. That means to be grateful, to show gratitude in all circumstances. I don't know the pressure that you're going through. I don't know what's happening right now in your life. But I believe it's just a good spot to just stop and just say, Lord, I thank you. Regardless what is going on right now at my job, in my family, with my health issues, and God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you that I'm alive. Thank you for the gift of life. Life even beyond this world. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. I think it's very, very important because when we show gratitude to God, it's, it's an expression of faith. Believing that he has control over our situation and he can give us living testimony. So I just want to go ahead and pray even right now. Everlasting Father, we just want to say thank you so much. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so grateful for the gift of life. We're so grateful for salvation through Christ Jesus. We thank you for this season of Christmas. We thank you for 2020. Regardless of God, what happened throughout this year, we still that our Redeemer, you are on the throne and you you, you, you have control over whatever is going on. So we bless your holy name. We thank you, Jesus. We honor and adore you. Be that exalted. Be that honor and adore. Thank you, everlasting Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord, church. I'm just going to go ahead and now also read um, uh, from Psalms 18. Psalms 18, verse 6. In my distress, I call to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. What is your distress today? What are you going through? You know, most of the times when we're going through some difficulties, challenges of this life, we eager to run and share with somebody or looking for help left and right. But this is just an example of somebody know how to make the right call. In the midst of challenges during an emergency. In my distress, I call to the Lord. This is what he said. I call to who? To the Lord. That's what we're doing right now. We make a stop and we're just going to call to the Lord. Some of us, our issues are really painful. You can't even cry without crying. You can't even pray without crying. It's just a lot that we're going through. Especially during this time of holiday and many people... You know, really, really going, going through some difficulties, love, uh, job lost, and for a family member that's, that died, left an empty space in your life. And you still, you know, being anxious and it's so hard. The Lord is able to bring healing. You hear the cry of his children. Here's the cries of his children. If you can cry out to him, if you can sincerely call upon the Lord in the midst of your challenges, he will come through. He said, call me in the times of need and I will come to work to your rescue. He can come to our rescue. So whatever you're going through right now, I just want to go ahead and pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we cry unto you, as we lay down our needs before you, as we are, O oh Lord Jesus, calling upon your name for you to give us living testimonies, for you to provide for our needs, O oh God, and to sustain and guide us. O oh Lord, we are praying right now. Let your name to be glorified. Let your name to be worshipped, honor and adore, because there's no one like you. Thank you, Tanner Rock of Ages. We know that, oh God, there's no need that you will not be able to provide. There's no situation that will not have a solution before the throne of grace. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, 
Step into our difficulties, our challenges of this present life, O oh God. Bring glory to your name. Bring glory to yourself by providing, sustaining, guiding, leading in that name of Jesus. So everlasting Father, we thank you. Lord, we worship your name. We honor and adore you. We magnify your name. We say you are good and you are great and you are wonderful. You are merciful, O oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for what you're about to do. Oh, God, because you are faithful. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Thank you so much for praying with us. Continue trusting the Lord. Whatever is going on with your life, no, he's not beyond God's touch. He's amazing. He's a promise-keeping God. And he can give you a living testimony. I just want to go ahead and pray for the church, church leaders. You know, Christmas is approaching. A lot of preaching going on. We're going to pray for our pastor, Pastor Paul. And we're going to pray for the rest of the staff. We've got to bless. We're going to pray for the church of Christ Jesus in general. For unity in the body. And our local church, Mission Hill Church. We pray the blessings out, Lord, during this season. A lot is going on. And, uh, and we give God the glory for an opportunity to serve. And it's just so amazing. Even this Saturday, by the grace of God, we will be able... We are going to do a prayer walk on this main campus from 8 to, to 10. If you have free time, if you want to join us, you can join us. It's an uh, early morning at 8 a.m. We'll start with a breakfast. And we'll take time you know, walking around the the, the, uh, the parameters of our church, just praying God's will to be done during this Christmas season, that the gospel will bring so much light into many hearts that many people can be saved in the name of Jesus. So we give God the glory for that. I'll just go ahead and do that prayer right now. Everlasting Father, I just want to thank you so much for the leadership of our church. We thank you for Pastor Paul and his family. We thank you, O oh God, for what you've been doing through this man of God. Oh Lord, we pray, praying that you continue strengthening, encouraging him, that you continue blessing his life and guide him through, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we thank you for the rest of the leaders, O oh God, that you strengthen them, that you encourage them, that you bless them, O oh God, that you lead the way in their lives, O oh God, that they will hear from you, they will listen to you, O oh God, and you will change their lives forever. So, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and honor and adoration. Help us, O oh Father. Help us, O oh Lord Jesus Christ, in every step of this life, O oh Lord Jesus Christ. Remind ourselves, we are just here for a moment. Father, may your name be glorified. May you receive all the glory and honor and adoration, Jesus, because you are so good. Bless the church, bless the leadership, even during this season, strengthen Pastor Paul, give him word of wisdom and boldness and strength, oh God, physical strength, spiritual empowerment, that you will be able, oh God, to share the word of God with power. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the programs for Christmas, oh God, we know all those programs, oh God, they are for your glory. May your name be glorified, oh God, in the midst of it all. We thank you. We worship your name. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We give God the glory. Thank you so much for praying with us today. Um, can't wait to see you on Sunday. Please invite a friend and um, know that um, the whole entire church staff are praying for you. When you send a prayer point to the church, we go over those prayer points. We pray for the need of our people and we know God is faithful and he's answering prayer also as well. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hand. May he be with you and watch over your lives also as well throughout this day, throughout this week and forevermore. May God bless you and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.